Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Gigi is here at it again. Okay, what we're getting ready to make right now is honey garlic pork chops. Honey garlic pork chops, okay? Now, we're going to use the garlic salt, the lorries, the queen, Mrs. Dash, basil, onion powder, and we're going to also use some extra virgin olive oil. Now, back here, I've got the ketchup, the soy sauce, some garlic, and some honey, and a little bit of brown sugar. These items are for our glaze, okay? And we're going to put this on them and saute it in the olive oil. And there's the pork chops there. Yes, yes. These came from the butcher. Don't they look yummy? So we're going to get all set up, put some of these things away, and we're going to season these puppies, get the skillet ready, and we're going to saute these. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to season these up. I had to put them in two separate pans here. Or two separate dishes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and season them up. Garlic salt. All right, and this is one of those times we're definitely going to season both sides. We're putting lorries on there now. And you don't have to heavenly season these, okay? So if all you've got is the queen in your cabinet, use the queen, okay? You don't have to use all this stuff if you don't have it. And again, like I've always told you, use what your family loves because your family is the one that has to eat this, okay? So whatever seasoning they like, like you would normally season your pork chops, your fried chicken, Whatever seasoning you would use to do those items. You could absolutely use poultry seasoning on this too if you like. I'm not. And then um, here's some onion powder or onion salt. Whatever you have. Remember, always utilize what you have. Don't go run out to the store and buy a whole bunch of stuff. Because you may use it that one time and then what? That's a waste of money. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of wasting money, okay? So we're going to do the, exactly what you just saw me do on the opposite side. I've got my skillet heating up over here. And once it gets warm, well, good and hot, I'm going to put the olive oil in there. Don't put the olive oil in the pan while the pan is heating up. Because olive oil will burn, okay? So we're going to heat that up. Get that skillet good and hot. I'm going to season this other side. I'll come back when I'm ready to put the olive oil in the pan and to put the pork chops in the pan, okay? I'll be right back. All right, I've seasoned the other side of those pork chops. The skillet is good and hot. We're going to pour a little olive oil in here. We're just sauteing. That's all we're doing right now. You see, you can tell that pan is good and hot. Look at that olive oil moves around in that pan. You see that? Your pan's ready. So we're going to head, take these and put them right on in there. I can get one more in there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to brown these on both sides. We're not going to fry them super hard or anything. Again, I say we're sauteing. So we're just going to get them a little cooked on both sides. I'm going to let this cook. It's only going to take about five to seven minutes, depending on the thickness of your chops. So five to seven minutes, depending on the thickness of your chops on both sides, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and let this brown up on this side. When I'm ready to flip it to the next side, I'll come back and let you see what that looks like, okay? All right, it is time to do the old flippy. See, this is why we want to get all that cooking gone. We don't we don't want none of that stuff in our pan when we get the savory part of this going. Get all that junk off of there. We don't want that on our pork chops. No way you must go. See, and we're just gonna let this cook for another five to seven minutes. And then I'm gonna stick this in a pan and finish up that last one. 
and I'll be back. All right, now guess what I'm getting ready to show you. I'm gonna show you how to make this glaze that we're gonna put on these pork chops. This is good old fashioned ketchup, okay? So we're gonna put in maybe, I'd say close to a cup, maybe a cup. We're gonna put in a few dashes of this soy sauce, okay? All right, and then we're gonna put in some honey. I'm thinking I might just use the whole honey bear. I mean, there's not but a little bit left in here. Of course, you've got a backup, but we're going to see what that tastes like. Then we're going to put in some garlic, okay? I'm going to use two spoons because remember this, the title of this good old stuff. So we've got to have some garlic. And then I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar in here, okay? And just a little bit. I'm not going to use all of that. And then I'm just going to stir this up. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. And there is our glaze. And we're going to put that on the pork chops. There is our glaze. Okay? There's what the glaze looks like. You can see that really good. Okay? So this is the glaze that we're going to put on top of these pork chops. And I'm going to move this other stuff out of the way. I'll be back. And I'll let you see me put the glaze on. One second. Alright, here we go. Here's the glaze. And you just want to put it on there. And you absolutely want to get it on both sides. But something else that you can do is you can baste this. Get it on all sides. Baste it when it's like 30 minutes through the cooking. Because we're going to put this in the oven on 300 for an hour. To ensure that it is well done. And to get it super, super tender on the other side. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. And trust me when I say, you are going to love this. This is definitely a dish, something different to do with pork chops. You don't have to have them the same way all the time. We like different. Different is good. I'm absolutely not going to use all of this. So that way there's some left when I get ready to baste the other sides, just in case. All right, so we're going to put some foil over this, bake it on 350. Okay, we're going to bake it on 350 for a total hour time. But we're going to, when it gets to the 30 minute mark, we're going to pull it out of the oven. We're going to put the remainder of this sauce, which as you can see is not a whole lot. Okay, we're going to put the remainder of this sauce on these pork chops and let it finish on another 30 minutes. So... I'll be back. All right, all right, all right. Here is the final product. Here it is. I paired it with black eyed peas and some steamed vegetables. This is our honey garlic pork chops. Doesn't that look good? Black eyed peas, a little steamed vegetables, but here is the star. Didn't take us long. Didn't take us long at all. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Things Made Easy with GT. Like and subscribe for so much more. All right. Have a good night. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.